The upcoming White House transition to criminal investigations into President-elect Donald Trump are being dropped. The federal election interference case and his classified documents case are being dismissed because of a long-standing policy barring the prosecution of a sitting president. ABC's Karen Travers reports from the Capitol. Special counsel Jack Smith today filed motions to drop all charges against President-elect Donald Trump. It involves his alleged effort to overturn his 2020 election defeat and promoting false claims of a stolen election in the lead up to the January 6th attack. Trump was charged with conspiracy to defraud the United States and obstruction. The attack on our nation's capital on January 6th, 2021, was an unprecedented assault on the seat of American democracy. As described in the indictment, it was fueled by lies. In his filing, Smith said the merits of the prosecution's case has not changed, but the circumstances have. Smith saying as a result of the election and DOJ guidelines against prosecuting a sitting president, the case will not go forward. More than 1,000 people have been found guilty or pled guilty to participating in the January 6th attack. Trump has called them patriots and promised to pardon some of them if he won re-election. Smith also removing Trump as a defendant in the classified documents case. Trump was accused of mishandling government records, including holding on to classified documents at his Mar-a-Lago and Bedminster, New Jersey properties. The judge in the classified documents case, Eileen Cannon, a Trump appointee, dismissed the case this summer on the grounds that Smith was unlawfully appointed as special counsel. Smith is now asking to dismiss the appeal of the charges against Trump, but allow the appeal to continue for Trump's two co-defendants. Trump said during the campaign he would fire Smith on his first day back in the White House. Smith was expected to resign before Trump takes office in January. The president-elect's office issued a statement this afternoon calling the decision by the DOJ a major victory for the rule of law. Karen Travers, ABC News, Washington.